Mike, what a difference less wind makes. When I was here last night at the Incident Command Post, uh, it was so smoky, my throat was burning. Tonight, I will tell you that there is only the faintest smell of this fire that is still raging out of control. Lining this street in the fire zone. We're so grateful to the firefighters for what they're doing. A thank you outside nearly every home. Watch their houses burn down while they're trying to save somebody else's. The land is charred and dry, but one thing made today better than the day before. The lack of wind, in all honesty. Uh, the wind, the, the expected winds were not as strong as they were yesterday. At the fire retardant mixing station, helicopters keep a constant pace. It's been a good day as compared to yesterday. Riding his white horse through black ash, Don Hunter says the fire came so close to his home, it burned the fence posts. Many of his neighbors still wait to find out about their homes. Some know the fate of their homes and some don't. It takes one ember and one beetle kill tree. And there's a lot of that. Linda and Rich Baker know their home could still burn. If they could post a sign, it would say something like this. By the grace of God, it's still there and the help of the firefighters. And tomorrow there's good news and bad. Firefighters here tell me that the expected temperatures are expected to be cooler. The humidity should be lower, but the winds also might pick up. And what they don't want is what happened yesterday, where the wind drives the fire into areas that haven't burned. That's what caused those eight additional houses to be lost. Reporting live at the Incident Command Post, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.